Welcome to this wood carving knife overview video. Today we're going to take a look at these knives from OCC Tools. So let's start by taking a look at the blades. And what you'll notice about the OCC knives is that uh, there's a pretty consistent blade shape uh, to all of these regardless of the size. So let me start with this one here. This is a one and a half inch uh, blade. And uh, things you'll note here, um, a typical kind of straight cutting edge uh, comes down to a point with a little bit of a clip at the tip, which actually I really like. Um, that gives it makes it great for doing detail. A little bit of a sharpening choil here to keep it up off of the handle. And uh, this one is really, uh, <laughs> I th this has been my workhorse. So actually, uh, full disclosure, this knife is really near and dear to my heart. Um, it was one of the first carving knives that I bought, and it was probably the first carving knife that I learned to keep sharp. And for probably the first two years of my carving life, I used it way more than anything else. I got really good at carving with one knife with this knife. So I'd, <laughs> I have to say that uh, just right up front that uh, this knife is, is uh, it holds a special place for me. Uh, it was the one I really learned on. But... Uh, but what you'll notice about it is that, um, man, I have stropped this for so many years that it has um, got a crazy mirror finish, and uh, they don't always they don't always come like that. So here's a one and three quarter inch. You can usually see um, some tool marks on these when you get them, but uh, that doesn't mean they're not sharp. They are sharp. They come sharp right out of the packaging, ready to go, and um, they stay sharp with stropping very well. Uh, good flat grind, super easy to sharpen. I recommend these for um, beginning carvers because uh, they're easy to sharpen. And I think that's part of why I use this one so much is because it was the first knife, um, not the first knife I owned, but the first knife that I was able to sharpen um, really well and proficiently myself. So you'll notice also they're not uh, uh, they're not uh, thick knives by any means. They got a nice thin uh, thin blade come to a great point uh, so good for both roughing and detailing that one and a half inch size is just the size that I like for um, doing both light roughing and detailing a good all-around um, carving knife but you'll notice you know the one and three quarter inch blade very similar shape um, proportionally just a little bit larger this one on the right is a two and a quarter inch um, the longest blade I own uh, um, great for roughing um, large things. It does have a tip that you could probably do some detail work on it, but two and a quarter is just too hard to get up to and and really do that, but an excellent, excellent roughing knife. If we go in the other direction, uh, this one is actually another one and a half inch, um, the same as this one. Uh, this is a one and a quarter inch version. Uh, again, similar shape, similar feel on that, and this one is a three quarter inch same shape and that I've used this to do some little miniature carves and uh, it works really well so I, I will say there's not a whole lot of variation I know they have offered some up, up sweep knives in the past I have this one um, one and seven eighths inch uh, I forgot to set out there on on the table but it's got a slightly different shape to it which I think is kind of cool this is one and seven eighths so it's more of a roughing size knife, but then it kind of um, has got this angle down to it to make it a little bit thinner going up front. And it's a great shape for uh, general purpose carving where you can do a little bit more detail work with that. So let's take a look at the handles. There's not a whole lot of variation with the, with the OCC tool handles. Um, the, the typical handles are going to look um, about like this. Um, they're going to have that um, kind of straight shape. Uh, they're not super wide. They're not super narrow. Uh, they're just kind of a, um, a normal shape gets wider down towards the end. I will say I've used this probably longer than any other knife I own. And uh, I've done fine with it. It's, it's comfortable enough. Um, it works fine for what it is. I actually kind of like the rustic look to it. I love the little... Um, old guy uh, logo on it. Uh, and it and it works fine. There's there's not um, any extra fancy shaping to it, but it's it's been it's been good for me. Uh, some of the options is you'll see, you know, sometimes these walnut handles and these um, uh, lighter handles. 
it seems like mostly the ones that I'm seeing now that are available all have the the walnut handles but uh, this one is a little bit more of a more recent one and you can see it gets nice and wide towards the bottom it's a little bit of a shorter handle and that's that's good um, I don't know if they're still available or not but uh, for a while they were making these um, gripper handles I've seen I've heard them referred to where there's um, some little grooves on the side and it kind of curves down towards the bottom a little bit um, I actually like that handle shape it feels pretty well and then uh, this one is a uh, a different uh, larger handle shape it actually feels good in my hand for a little tiny blade uh, a big handle but most of the ones I've seen recently for sale have this kind of standard blade shape mostly or sorry standard handle shape mostly in um, mostly in walnut and so the only other thing I would say is that uh, OCC tools recently uh, were uh, sold to another company and I know that they're still producing knives. I haven't gotten any new knives since that happened so I don't know if these things will change um, or that most of these knives I've had for a while and have been very happy with them. Uh, so let's uh, or let me point out one other thing on the handles um, this little guy um, uh, I, I don't know <laughs> where you can find these anymore, but um, this is a little palm handle size with the same one and a half inch blade. And uh, this has been a little workhorse for me too. It's got the same blade as this one that um, that I got so comfortable with, but um, something about this one has just uh, uh, been perfect for me. I've, I've, I've gotten this extremely sharp. Um, it holds an edge well uh, and the small the small handle shape has actually worked pretty well for me. I will note um, so that one on the right is a one and a half inch blade, and you can see it's a little bit narrower than this one and a quarter inch blade, and you can see that that point comes to a little bit of a sharper tip up there. So I don't know if those are consistent changes that will be happening moving forward with the um, with the OCC knives or not. Uh, but I actually like this one better for detailing than that one, even though it's a one and a half inch versus a one and a quarter. But this still works great as a general purpose carving knife. So let's talk about any extras associated with these knives. Um, they don't generally come with anything extra. They don't have... Uh, uh, sheaths that come with them, um, no real bells and whistles, but I, I would say that's actually kind of the the extra that you get with them. They're, they're bare bones, um, kind of rustic looking knife. Um, I don't think that's bad. Um, they tend to be a little bit more affordable um, when you can find them than some of the other um, higher end knives, and I think they're a great option for for a beginner carver for that, for that purpose. So you get what you see. It's a very... Um, um, rustic, authentic looking knife and it works well. So let's finish off here with a quick demo uh, with a couple of these knives. So let me pull this one out here, um, this one and a half inch blade that I'm pretty fond of um, and just show you how well that'll just slide through the wood. I can really take big, big chunks out of there if I want to. I can do nice smooth cross cuts there if I want to Leave that shiny shiny finish um, fast smooth push cuts on the side uh, and the tip of that is great for detailing as well so very good general purpose knives um, and show you the this giant one, two and a quarter inch, will just take chunks off. If I'm doing a slightly larger carving, I'll reach for this one to just quickly remove a lot of wood. And like I said, this little tiny one uh, is great for adding little tiny details. So that's the OCC knives. Um, I definitely have enjoyed using them over the years and hope to continue to do so. And hopefully that's helpful for you as you uh, consider them. They're a great option, especially if you're uh, new to carving, because I think they're really easy to 
keep sharp and they work really well as multi-purpose knives.